Dr. Bill Bailey and this is the Vert Z Netcast. The Vert Z Netcast is your online magazine of virtualization and cloud computing. And we want to bring you information about virtualization, information about cloud computing, and hopefully do it in an interesting and entertaining way. So let's jump into what has happened since our last netcast, which was netcast number 14. That makes this netcast number 15. Also, we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's right here on the Vertzine netcast. All right, let's look at our items here. Uh, this is a, a posting concerning the secured cloud feature or product. It's uh, posted here under product news from the Phoenix NAP. Now the Phoenix NAP is a full service data center, premier infrastructure as a service IAAS provider, and primary network access point. That's what an NAP is, network access point, we'll call it a NAP. Uh, announced that today as of this posting, uh, which was November the 17th, so this is slightly old news, but at any rate, uh, they have a new service offering called the Secured Cloud, and they are accepting signups. Uh, they say, Ian McClarty, president of Phoenix Nap, says, We are very excited to release Secured Cloud to market. This public cloud offering, we believe, is unlike many other solutions in that it combines true enterprise-grade technologies on the back end with a user interface that is simple enough for non-technical users and robust enough for tech-savvy individuals. It utilizes VMware. Cis, uh, Cisco Nexus, F5 Networks, and Cisco United uh, Unified Computing System, the UCS technology, uh, in its fully featured cloud stack. So basically they built an infrastructure and are now uh, doling it out, you might say, uh, to folks to provide secured cloud technology. And so you really probably ought to check into that to make sure uh, to see if that will be beneficial to you to maybe some projects that you're looking at. They sent us uh, an advance notice of this uh, and then asked us to hold the information until they released it and we posted it in the uh, blog, Vertzine, V-I-R-T-Z-I-N-E dot com. We posted it immediately there and of course the netcast is done after the fact and so that's why it may be just a little bit old news for this particular netcast. All right, next item here is the cloud will continue to be open. Not the crowd, the cloud. The cloud will be open and will be ubiquitous. Cloud is an architecture. When you architect servers with virtualization, distributed computing, and the ability to handle big data so a single website or job can take the power of a whole system when needed, that's a cloud. That's what this article says. And uh, it basically says that the cloud technologies that are involved are all built on open source tools. So it will continue to be open. And uh, I'll let you read this article in detail. But just my comment is, is that this is a good thing. Open source technology, I'm a very big proponent of open source technology. And the fact that the cloud has been built on open source and continues to be built on open source, I believe is uh, a great thing uh, and, and is encouraging in so many different ways in terms of technological advancement, in terms of security. There's just all kinds of advantages for the fact that it is open source and open source based. Next item, VMware Workstation 801 is out and it's a great staging tool. Now I use VMware Workstation 801. As a matter of fact, I even have the Linux version installed on my notebook computer now. And uh, it is a great development platform. You can build out a virtual machine there, test it, work with it. When you're ready, you can easily move it up to your ESX server uh, under vSphere. And it works very, very well. So it makes a great staging tool. So I'd encourage you to read this article and check that out. I'm kind of hurrying through these items because we've got so many things to talk about since we uh, haven't done a netcast in a while. Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization has been released. This was released back on November the 19th. Uh, and it is filed under product news because it is a new product. And it is a solution, open source solution. Remember we talked about how open source uh, is the leader in the cloud computing uh, 
area. And so Red Hat has a new beta out for their Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization, RHEV. Uh, matter of fact, they have this in this article, they talk about the fact that um, it is a public beta. It's available for you to download and try. And it brings an updated KVM hypervisor based on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6. It scales up to 128 logical CPUs and two terabyte of memory for the host machine. Wow, that's a lot of memory. With the latest beta, Red Hat has updated its RHEV manager application to a Java app running under JBoss. RHEV 3.0 now has a power user portal that allows users to provision VMs and define VM templates. Another important addition is the RESTful API that can be used to manage and configure all aspects of RHEV 3.0. It also supports a new reporting engine for analysis of usage trends and to produce utilization reports. And reporting is a very key part of uh, this kind of technology to see how it's trending and uh, it, just very useful. So this is this is really good to see that they're developing this and uh, I think it's going to be a really important move for Red Hat as they continue to push the envelope, so to speak, of cloud computing and virtualization in the open source space. All right, VMware cloud management tools. Uh, VMware is expanding their cloud tools to get ready for the next wave, in quotes, of cloud computing adoption. And uh, basically, they have the new vCenter operation suite that combines virtualization and management features for cloud deployments. And uh, in this operation suite, they have all kinds of new tools. They uh, integrate performance, capacity, and configuration management functions. They've uh, said that the 5.0 release enables users to see configuration changes and capacity considerations. It's fully integrated with performance aspects, so all the data can be viewed in context. This gets back to the reporting aspect I was just talking about of staying on top of all of your virtual environment. The virtual environment is a very complex environment. And as things go wrong, things can go wrong very quickly and get out of hand. So you need to stay on top of it. So all these reporting tools are key and critical components for managing your virtual environment. And of course, we use VMware uh, at High Point Regional Health System where I work, and it is a tremendous benefit to everything that we're doing there in terms of virtualizing servers and being able to manage it. Uh, very well, and having tools to do that is is a very important part of the whole virtualization uh, paradigm. So, last item I want to talk about here is there is a new cloud computing certification that's been announced from CompTIA. Uh, they have created a certification that is very generic in nature. In other words, it's not specific to VMware, it's not specific to uh, Citrix, uh, Zen Server, or any of the other virtualization environments. It is talking more about cloud computing as a technology. It's a broader, more expansive certification. And uh, they have developed that and, and have, I think have already released it. Uh, and they are including technologies from Amazon, Cisco, Citrix, EMC, Google, HP, IBM, Microsoft, Rackspace, and VMware uh, in their, essentially, committee of experts that helped develop this new credential. Uh, the new credential includes IT professionals and companies utilizing cloud computing today or contemplating doing so, as well as individuals involved in selling cloud services. Uh, so this is an interesting idea to have a certification for cloud computing knowledge and expertise. And I found that very, very interesting. Will I go for it? I don't know yet. I'll have to check it out and see uh, what it covers, what it's about, and uh, then I'll decide one way or the other. So, hope you enjoyed this particular edition of VertScene, the online magazine of cloud computing and virtualization. And remember, until next time, keep your head in the cloud. Mm -hmm.